video, guys. Let's not look at my hair. Let's look at the haul, because that's what I have for you guys. And these are all items that I have purchased during the year 2021. I already filmed another video for the items that I purchased. Not everything that I purchased in 2020, but the last things that I didn't show in other hauls. So if you haven't watched that video, I'm going to link it in the description box in case you'd like to watch that one. All right, so to be completely honest, I can't remember for sure if I purchased this one this year or was it last year, but I think it was this year and I didn't include it in that other video. So here it is. This is from the Vault Collection and it is a game. It is called <laughs> A Visit to Walt Disney World Magic Kingdom Park. And I think I showed it, I think I showed what it looks like on another video. Because uh, they have it in a display case. But look at this. Monorail. Going, well not exactly through the contemporary, but like on top. And then there's a castle. And look at Mickey and Minnie and Pluto and Goofy and Donald. Love, oh wait, that's not Donald. Uh, that's Daisy, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's Daisy. Donald is down here. And I haven't played yet. Obviously, I haven't opened it. It was, or it is, $39.99. It is heavy. You know what I love? The most random thing. See this section here? Doesn't it look like old school games? I think it's so fun. Loving also the retro look here. Look at Donald and Mickey. Now, Donald hasn't changed that, that much in my opinion. He's still the same cute guy. Uh, Mickey has changed a lot, don't you think? But I still love them. All right, I can't wait to play with this guy. I will be opening it, uh, all the games in a, well, I mean, I don't know if all the games, but I will be opening games in separate videos showing you what they look like, maybe playing a little bit so that I can show you, um, I don't know, the rules, how you play it and stuff like that, but that will be coming in another video, like I said. All right, let's move on to this other bag. <gasps> this is a good one. All right, um, some of you might have watched the video where I was showing this Dooney collection and I said I wasn't gonna get it. Well, I got it. <laughs> I did. I am not the biggest fan of Alice in Wonderland, like the story. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just like, as a little girl, it used to freak me out a little bit. It was too crazy for my liking. It was kind of scary for me. Uh, so, I grew up not loving it. Um, as an adult, I've watched a little bit of like the live action ones and you know, it's not bad of course. It's a good story, but I still have that feeling inside. So anyway, I wasn't planning on getting it for sure, but then I saw the lining. Don't ask me why, just the most stupid little things, but I saw the lining, loved the contrast, like black and white and this beautiful caramel. And then I opened it and look at that blue. It was like the whole thing, I was just like, I love it. I love it. So I decided to go with this one because it has a really good placement, I think, of Alice here. And um, I don't know, I just went with it. It had everything that I wanted to see because it also had the Queen of Hearts and the White Rabbit here, well, also here. But I don't know, yeah, like I like this one. Um, Mad Hatter also on this side. I think I might switch the tag to the other side. And this one does have um, a strap inside, so I can wear it as a shoulder bag or I think even crossbody bag. Ooh, this is the first um, bag in this style, the first Dooney in this style that I have, that I own, so um, I can't really tell you that it is a crossbody, but I think I've seen people at the parks wearing it as crossbody, like this style, so I think so, I think so. Um, I think it is still available. I mean, I don't know by the time that I upload this video. I don't know if it will, but it has lasted a while. 
All right. Um. Now, art. All right. I think I also showed in another video that I went to. Ah, oh, what's the name of that store at Disney Springs? So. Uh, I know. Well, they have prints and things like that. So I purchased this guy because I'm in love with this. And I think it's super cute that it has the Mickeys on the four corners. Now, the reason I wanted this one is because I had seen this one and I wanted it. I wanted it. He is looking, Walt is looking at his reflection, but he is drawing Mickey Mouse. And then let me get you a little bit closer. See if you can see. He has a little like inspiration uh, things here, images here on one corner and the hat here at the top and then what else is it like little things here and there and then if we look at this one Mickey's looking at himself but it's drawing Walt so I love that and look at the inspiration Donald and Goofy that's beautiful and look at Walt here and it also has the hat and it has the same bucket as this other one you see well it's not the same one but you know like it has lots of uh, details like that and what was the other thing here he has oh wait a glass with a mickey mouse and here he has like a mickey mouse statue i don't know just beautiful i think um they were 39.95 each and i want to put them like side by side and now that one of you actually gave me as a gift the figurine that looks like this i'm gonna have them i was thinking maybe buying like a shelf and then putting them both there and then the figurine like in the middle or in front of this one or something i don't know gotta figure that out but it's gonna be beautiful it's gonna be fantastic all right then i have a jacket I have a jacket, um, it was released for the 50th and this is what it looks like. It's like a bomber jacket, I think it's the name of this kind of style. And it is, I don't know how to describe the fabric, but it is very soft, kind of like satin, but I don't think this is exactly satin. I don't know, I'm not sure, I'm gonna get you closer. Oops, sorry, I moved the camera maybe you can see it and some of you will know just by looking at it anyway it has this like a uh, pink iridescent detail here and the sleeves are have a quilted look then on this side there's a patch and it has a mickey mouse with 50 and i don't know if you can tell but all the threading is made with that like iridescent uh, thread it's so beautiful it just has like a lot of dimension it's super pretty what else do i have to show you obviously pockets i mean yes on both sides of course and then the back the back is to die for uh this is embroidered like everything you're seeing here is embroidered i just touched it to make sure so it has a 50 again the 50 let me see if i can show you that it changes color a little bit. I don't know if the camera can capture that or if the light is right here. I mean, I can see it with my eyes no matter what uh, what uh, light we have. But I don't know if the camera can capture that. And then the castle, um, dressed as the 50th and Walt Disney World, the most magical celebration. This guy, I can't remember how much it was and obviously doesn't have the price tag anymore. But I think it was like around $90. And they do have them. Um, so if you're coming in the near future, I think you have a good chance of uh, getting it. Now this one. Ooh, I love this. I had mentioned that when I first saw it. The day I saw it for the first time, you all saw me freaking out. Because I wanted it. And I'm so happy that I was able to get it. It sold out super quick. I don't know if it's coming back. I saw it come back at one store only. And then the next time that I went back, they didn't have any. So I don't know. This one, I think I haven't removed the tag. $54.99 in case it comes back. So 
this beautiful like tie-dye design and it's kind of like cream and it has gray and yellow and what I call that turquoise maybe and then it says Walt Disney World and Mickey Mouse looking chill as ever and it is embroidered this is very soft and inside it's just super soft I um, can't wait to wear it I hadn't because I was waiting to film the haul and now I will I might take this off and put it right after the video because <laughs> I have been dying to wear it <gasps> also this one this one I know I live in Florida I really don't need them but I wanted it I just wanted it he is so beautiful look at that gorgeous Mickey Mouse and he is kind of like chenille and like the face and the pants and the shoes and then the rest is just like normal embroidered and then I love the band and also on the arms like the sleeves and then I really like like pops of color on, on things I mean you saw the Dooney <laughs> so the fact that the cord is red for some reason I'm like yes I love that and then on the hood it says Walt Disney World embroidered so I am loving that and I will be wearing this one very soon uh, also I hadn't worn this because I was waiting to film the video but mostly because for whatever reason this one doesn't smell that great I don't know what happened it smells like it was inside a box with other things that did not smell that great so I want to remove the tag and throw it in the wash first and then I will be wearing it let's see what else do I have here oh a pin I'm trying to stop buying pins well not stop buying them but like I'm trying to control it so um I haven't purchased one for flower and garden festival yet but I'm very tempted however I did get one from festival of the arts because oops come on focus so you can see it has the characters and just because it has Mickey and Minnie I wanted it I think it's awesome that he also has figment because he's the mascot and um, spaceship earth with colors because you know festival of the arts so I'm very happy about this guy then oh I can't get this out well I mean it's a Pandora box but there's nothing inside because I'm actually wearing it oh this way maybe so I've had this Pandora Mickey Mouse for a while now maybe like a couple of years and Adrian saw that they discontinued this so this is actually a two-piece so it's that Mickey Mouse and then you get a second ring that has the part of the um, the top of the ears with the bow so that it becomes Minnie Mouse so I already had that one like I said and since this one was being discontinued I just went ahead and got it and I have Mickey and Minnie and they go together <laughs> right next to each other and then oh lots of you know what happened with mine and we're very excited when I was able to find it for myself ah! the 50th mug oh I'm so sorry that's how excited I am <laughs> the 50th mug ah oh, I am just over the moon happy loving that I have it I don't know if you can see that it has like an iridescent finish it is so beautiful and it has the characters and I couldn't love it more characters park icons says 50 iridescent uh, finish some other characters and things it's just beautiful and for $14.99 Disney you did good then I also have another piece of drinkware and it's this beautiful Mickey balloon zipper this guy is $22.99 and I'm going to be drinking out of this one I have been using the Starbucks one because uh, it's big and I drink a lot of water throughout the day but I don't know I think that from now on with my meals I always drink sparkling water 
so i think that this is going to be the one that i use for that from now on like i'm for sure washing it right now and i'm gonna start using it today i'm so excited i just realized that the pandora box was not for the ring so i'm gonna show you what this box has inside i still have to put it on my uh bracelet obviously i wanted to show it here first i have shown this one at the stores so i'm not gonna take it out but how cute is that mickey and minnie mouse kissing obviously this one came out for valentine's day and i love it i mean you guys know i love everything that's mickey and minnie and if they're being like romantic and kissing and being cute with each other even better oh i just realized that they're hanging from a heart let me make it focus again come on you can do this you see that here this is a cute heart oh that makes it even prettier i love this guy i can't remember how much this one was uh but i think it is still available at the park as if i needed any more sweatshirts <gasps> I had to I just had to this is way too spectacular it is so beautiful it's cream I think it's coming across as white but it is it is more cream than white and it is the softest thing ever it's the most comfortable sweatshirt ever I think it's sold out here it might come back I mean probably will come back but if you can get it from shop disney i don't know if they have it right now but if you can get it you can thank me later it is absolutely delicious to wear which is something weird to say but guys seriously it's so comfortable it's just so soft so nice there is a reason why everyone was wearing this one here and why it sold out oh this is heavy it's a book but Oh, let me get it out. Why is it so hard to get it out of the bag? What's up with that? It doesn't want to come out. It's a shy book. <laughs> come on, come on. Come on, little guy. You can do this. All right. It's like a coffee table book. And it's this beauty. It says, uh, 50 years of the most magical place on earth. So, obviously, it was... Um, Release for the 50th, it is $60, and this is the back, the other three park icons, and Tinkerbell up there, I don't know if you can see her. Um, obviously loving, let me get closer, loving the fact that the monorail is here, partner statue, I need everything with the partner statue, and Cinderella's carriage with the horses, I saw them the other day in front of... Um, like the bridal building um that's not the right name but you know where weddings take place in the grand floridian i don't know if they were waiting for the bride or they had just dropped her off or what but <gasps> magical i just realized that it also has all the statues the 50th golden statues can you see that mickey mini pluto goofy uh donald and daisy back here and cheap and deal this is cute let's open it for a little bit any page any page what did we get oh talking about epcot oh is it mm, i think so yeah well um, uh wait no i'm sorry i thought it was like the china pavilion but no this is a chinese theater um in hollywood studios they're talking about that let's open another page and oh that's the castle there and let's check another one. Oh, i think this is yeah they're talking about when walt was uh planning it he was traveling here and all that oh, pandora it's so beautiful if you guys have never had the chance to be um in the area like animal kingdom pandora uh, at nighttime, oh, you are missing out big time. Anyway, this is a beautiful book, perfect like coffee table book. So, 
super heavy. <laughs> I needed to have that one. And what else do I have here? Is this the last thing? No, oh, no, I still have a couple more things. So I'm going to show you the little ones first. I have from the Festival of the Arts, they have a spork. And this one has figment up here. Can you see that with a brush? A painting brush? And what is this? Oh, it's just part of him. <laughs> and it says Festival of the Arts. And it's $2.50. So right now they have one with... I think it's Spike the Bee, if I'm not mistaken, for Flower and Garden. And then I have this girl, my Minnie Mouse, and she has magnets here on her hands. Now, the old ones used to have magnets on their feet as well. And I wish they would do that again, because then it was like you could post them and it would be really cool. It was really cool. Um, but she doesn't have that and i wanted her so i had to get her i am waiting to see if i can find mickey mouse because i don't have mickey i think i have a stitch from a million years ago and i have a goofy that i stole from my mom but she didn't she was not a disney fan until like she started hanging around with me for the channel purpose and now she likes disney but back then i don't even know how she got her hands on that uh magnet i mean she used to come to a park sometimes so obviously that's how that happened but i don't think she realized that i stole it <laughs> she's gonna know now <laughs> all right i have a set of pins this is 17.99 and it comes with six all mickey's colorful with studs and like I said, those are studs. They're not crystals, but I don't know. They shine so amazingly well that it's like a different kind of reflection. Obviously, it's not like a crystal one, but I don't know. It just They have a lot of light, and I love it. So I decided to get this one, and I don't know if this is something that you guys can still get. Haven't seen it in a while. But uh, before Valentine's Day, they had this set. It's bubble bar. But let me turn this ones around so you can see them properly. So it's Mickey Mouse. The uh, buttons on the shorts are crystals. And then obviously this is Minnie's bow. And this dangling part is also like crystals. Same thing here with Mickey's head. And this guy was $40. And then, I think this is the last thing that I have to show you. It is a Harvey's Vault Collection bag. And it's beautiful. I am in love with this design. Some of you know that I purchased uh, the Varsity jacket last year. And oh, I couldn't love it more. It is so beautiful. I kind of wished that it was embroidered. So that it would, I don't know, like, it's just printed. I think embroidery would have been, like, much impactful thing. Uh, do, you, do you know what I'm trying to say? I don't know. Anyway, the back, the map, the park map. Who doesn't love that? I love this. Um, before the whole collection came out, like, I mean, this was, like, years and years ago, I actually paid on eBay for an original map. So now the Vault Collection released a replica of the original map. And I also have that one, of course. But that's how much I love it. That years ago I paid a lot of money for the original map from 1971. And now I have it here. And then the zipper pool. No, that's not the zipper pool. That's just a charm, a bag charm that looks like that. What does a zipper pool look like? Oh, it's just. Let me show you. It just says Walt Disney World. Oh, it's not going to focus. It says Walt Disney World. That's what it looks like. And let me open it. Why not? That's what it looks like inside. Nothing special. I mean, no, it does how. I was, I was going to say that it's like typical Harvey's lining, but it's not. It is not. It actually has a logo. Yeah, I really like... Oh, it also has this other strap. I really like Harvey's bags. 
first of all, they are very durable. Second, they people say that they are heavy. To me, these bags are lighter than Dooney's. So I don't know what people are talking about. Um, and, oh, I just realized the tag is so cute. And um, what I love the most, the most, the most about them is that they are convertible. They give you different uh, ways to wear them. So this one, you have the straps. You can obviously wear it like this, but it's big enough so that you can actually put it on your shoulder and have it as a cross. Uh, I'm sorry. And have it as a short bag. And then it comes with a strap. It's adjustable and then you can use it you can make it into its shortest so that you can also wear it on your shoulder a little bit longer and then you can adjust it at any height Doonies have a, a different system oh can i show you that i think this one is wrapped but it's like a oh i won't be able to show you that well here it's like a belt, like a buckle system. So it only gives you so many options wherever the hole is. But with this system that slides, you can adjust it to any height that you want. And they make them long enough that even if you are bigger, you can still wear them crossbody bag. I think that's perfect. That's fantastic. That's genius. They have others that are even more convertible because they um, they can be turned into backpacks. It's not the case of this one, but I still love it like crazy. And that's it, guys. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!